Because I have questions for y'all. And we, how many of y'all watch the news? Because that, that shows he watches the news. So y'all said you watch the news, man. You watch the news. What's going on in the news today? Um, Delaware State. Delaware State. Delaware what? State women's lacrosse team, all black, just got pulled over in Georgia. Tell me something with the lane violation. They start searching them. Come on, man. What's going on? How about this? What's going on in the news today that has an effect on us? How many of y'all watch the news? Because I know I didn't watch the news. I wouldn't care. Are we talking black minds? Right? You get tired of it. And you know, that's, I, I like that you said that because me watching the news, I heard that it's depressing. Who likes to watch the news? There's, no, there's nothing good out of it. We see we see a sister getting killed, a, a sister getting kidnapped. Five people have having crime arising to the point where you're scared to walk out your door. Another black man getting killed, right? So let's see, let me get Luke 2136. But we gotta think about what's going on in the news today and what's affecting us as a whole, as a people. Okay? Luke 21 36. Luke chapter 21 and 36. Uh -huh. Watch ye therefore and pray always. The Bible says to so watch ye therefore and pray always. Why? Because understand, if you read this Bible and we get further in depth, it's matching up with what's, what's going on with the news. Hey, sisters, come here. Come here. I want to dialogue with y'all. If y'all got time, here, come here and stop. If you hear what's going on in the news today, it's actually affecting us as a whole, as a people. So the Bible says, read that one more time. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Uh -huh. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Why? Because there's day that's going to happen for Armageddon, destruction, okay? Nuclear fire that's going to come and hit the, that's going to come and destroy this land. And you all are going to go ahead. You all can determine if you will be saved or not. Let's finish that up. That he may be a pillar worthy to escape. Because when the day comes, that's called judgment day, Armageddon, you're going to have to consider if you are all worthy. Did I live my life as a righteous man on earth? Or did my last pastor tell me that all sins are forgiven, uh, I'm saved under grace? Finish it up. That, 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 that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Because there's a day where you all are going to be judged and you're going to have to stand before God and hold account for the sins of what you did. Okay? That man hasn't seen you, flesh man hasn't seen you, but God seen you, the angel seen you. So we can say it right now, what's going on right now? Because it says, watch ye therefore and pray. So if we're watching, like, we got to watch and see uh, what's going on as far as, like, with the news, right? Test, 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 test. Right, right, right. So if we're watching, like, as far as, like, with the news, right? And it says, watch and pray. Now, I, I can ask y'all, what do y'all pray for? What, what, what would you pray for? I just pray for forgiveness and safety at the moment. Forgiveness and safety. Okay, how about you? What do you pray for? I pray for health, man. You pray for health? What do you pray for? You read our prayer. Let me get um, let me get Romans 8 and 29. It might be 26. Because, I mean, that's good, but there's something else that you're missing. There's something else that you're missing. Because remember, we identified, what did I identify earlier? Because I want to make sure y'all actually comprehend it. I'm not just blowing smoke. I hear you. What did we talk about earlier? What did I identify? What did the Bible identify? Uh, they identify what's going on in the world right now. Uh -huh. And that you have what? Uh, the choice. Enemies. Enemies. Right? We identified enemies. But read what you got? Romans 8, 29, 26. The book of Romans, chapter, right. 26. chapter 8, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Uh -huh. For we know the not. The Spirit help us in our weakness. Because right now, we're all a weak people. We have a fleshly body. We weak. We sin. We think of lust. We think of help. We think of hope. We're weak. Okay? We're not as a strong people as we was back in the day, right? So it's saying the Spirit itself help us in our weakness that what? Keep reading. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. We don't know what we should be praying for as we should. There's something that we should be praying for that we don't pray for. So you gotta ask yourself, what is that? What is that? Right? Let me get 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. There's something that we should be praying for, but we don't pray for this. Hey, I guarantee you, your pastors, your leaders, your rulers, they ain't never taught y'all this before. Ever! 
2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 uh -huh. seeing it is a righteous thing with God this is a righteous thing man this is a good thing with God that what to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you to go ahead and ask for payback for those that troubled you who troubled us today remember remember our enemies said this to us so read that part again seeing it is a righteous thing with God this is a beautiful thing. It's a righteous, it's beautiful, it's perfect. There's no flaw in it. There's no question, there's no doubt, there's no guilt about it. That what? To recompense tribulation. Recompense, in case y'all don't know, means payback. Okay, just in case y'all didn't know, because we, I gotta help the young man out, because he we, might know. We Recompense means to pay back. To pay back what? Tribulation to them that trouble you. Is this not tribulation? Was this not trouble for us? Huh? Well, our ancestors, well, our fathers, well, our mothers, they were killed if they didn't bring back enough cotton. But their fingers was chopped off if they, if they didn't pick enough uh, grapes. Teach you okay? Well, well uh, our ancestors, they was raped, they was robbed, they was murdered, if they did not fulfill their duties. And God is saying, this is a right, read that point again and make sure I'm not just put, I'm not touched. And it was under read the it again. Then. Seeing it is a righteous thing. This is beautiful. This is a righteous thing. This is, and this is New Testament. Read the book of where you at, because this is New Testament. Second Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6. Uh-huh. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God uh -huh. to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. This, that's a beautiful thing. Keep reading. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. For all of you that's in trouble, rest with us. Fill with us. I'm looking right now at three strong black men right now, Israelite men. Come rest with us because we still in trouble as well. Even though we have this knowledge, even though we have this understanding, we still need your help. And we still going to get the job done whether you help us or not. That's right. Okay, but we still need your help. And we better behoove y'all to be on the winning team and get with us. We're not asking for your money. We're not asking for y'all. We're asking for your time to get the understanding and build upon it. That's See if right. we lie. See if we lie. Pull out your Bibles out. Pull out your phones. Y'all all got Google, right? Y'all all got smartphones. Pull out and see if we lying. Yeah. So I'm saying for those that are trouble, rest with us. Build with us. Keep reading. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Why when it says when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed? Because the last man couldn't identify who the enemy was and what we tried to, he didn't want to hear it. So now what do they do? Now what? Hold on real quick. Now they give us this image. Right. Now they give us this image. Because a lot of people will say, I have no enemies. It doesn't matter what Jesus Christ looked like. It does matter. That's right. It does matter. Because if it didn't matter, why would they give us this image right here? Okay? When in the Bible it describes a black man with woolly hair, fit as if they burn in a furnace. You understand that? So read that part again. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Uh -huh. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Because y'all gonna see a scary thing. Y'all gonna see check, a check, world check. burning, and you're gonna see a black man coming from the sky. That's gonna be a savior. That's gonna be a redeemer. But we're gonna be like, hold on, wait a minute. We was looking for this one. We was looking for this one. The whole time I was praying to this guy. Who the hell is this? Deep so God. all of you that are troubled, come rest with us. Because when you rest with us, when you build with us, you're going to see, oh snap, I've been worshiping the false god. I've been worshiping the false idol. Is that it? Read the next verse. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. Taking vengeance on them that know not God. The last man, he didn't want to hear it. You can't tell me this Bible's not a true book. We, I asked him, who's your, who do you listen to? He said, Joel Osteen. He said, I'm good. I'll, listen, I'll, I'll get the news. I'll get the word tomorrow when I listen to Joel Osteen. And he was dead serious. And I'm like, yo, I can show you in the Bible what your past is not teaching you. Right. And I just showed him. And in the middle of me showing him, he couldn't bear it. He had to walk off. But I'm looking at now. Notice that. Notice how the crowd got smaller and smaller. Now it's down to the nitty gritty. Now it's down to the ones who wants to hear the word of God. Look at this man right here. That's how you can tell that's going to be a strong prophet. Right. Okay? Uh, now, we got to ask ourselves, though. Is that it? Finish it out. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Meaning the ones who obey not in this gospel, they're going to burn and go into die. There's a day coming called Judgment Day, Armageddon, destruction. 
but you will be held accountable for your sins. That's right. Okay? We understand, yes, the white man is our enemy, but okay, now that we can identify the enemy, what good is it now? What are we supposed to do? How do we build? How do we come across? How do we up uplift our people? Is it, mo is it voting? Is it, po is it uh, protesting? Is it marching? What is it now? What do we do? We have to uplift our people. We have to uplift our people and show them in. That's why I say, this word, this job is still gonna get done. Y'all can help us now if y'all learn and then y'all go ahead and y'all teach. Because all, all, all that's gonna be done, the, the word is still gonna go out, but y'all can either help speed up the process or be a hindrance. That's right. You understand? But we will have to ask ourselves, when can we enjoy this? Because remember, we identified our enemy, and we're asking destruction or payback for our enemies. But when can this happen? Uh, that's it. Give me, give me Second Thessalonians, Second Corinthians, ten and one. So that three. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse one. Three. Verse three. For though we walk in the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. Because a lot of times, the, la the, the, the black leaders, they would, hey, let's get guns and let's go ahead, let's go after them. So we're gonna, remember, I, we brought out in the Bible and one of these of all things, if you need protection, you gotta go to your enemy. That's right. If you need protection, you gotta go to your enemy. So if we're gonna say, hey, Mr. Enemy, can I get guns so I can go ahead and shoot you with it? That makes no sense. Our, our brain is a weapon. That makes no sense, right? So it says, although we walk in the flesh, we don't war with the flesh. Keep reading. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's, this is not a physical battle. This is not a physical battle. This is not a physical fight. Because when, when is that going to happen? You're going to get charges. You're going to get locked up. You're going to go to jail. Or you might die. Now, who won ultimately? Not you, your enemy did. <laughs> okay? Because that's one less nigga off the street now. Your enemy won. Keep reading. But mighty through God. But what? But mighty through God. Uh huh. To the pulling down of strongholds. We out here fighting right now. There's blood leaking right now. Y'all just don't see it. We just killed a doctrine of saying who's your enemy is. And you saw it. He walked away leaking. He didn't want to hear it. Okay? We're pulling down strongholds. The last teacher just brought out that Christ was a black man with woolly hair. That's We're pulling I mean. down strongholds. You understand that? Keep reading. Casting down imaginations. Casting down any imagination of what you have that Christ is all loving and hugging and kisses. We're casting down imagination because he's a man of war. That's right. Okay? Keep reading. And every high thing. Because this right here exhausts himself against God by saying, I am the God. Oh, but why, have, why is it that we have one God, but we have multiple religions? Okay? It Where it's, it's Methodist, Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, Lutheran, but there's only one God. We out here to cast that down. Right. Bring it on. Okay? Keep reading. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. We out here, any thoughts that y'all got, we had to shut that down if it don't match up with the Bible. Yeah. If it don't match up with the Bible, we shut it down. And we're going to say, hey, produce your cause then. If we're wrong, produce your cause. Because what all is, again, we out here to share knowledge, but we're also here to give you the knowledge and understand it. Wake up. Let's not get it twisted. Keep reading. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So the only way we can get revenge is when your obedience is fulfilled. When you're, when you're ready to say, I'm ready to, to walk in the uh, faith, uh, to walk in the faith of God, the faith of Christ. I'm ready now to go ahead and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. So remember, that's the beautiful thing of what we brought out that we're gonna have destruction for our enemies. We used to scream Black Power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. 
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.